Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here. This is a fretless little mojo. Fretless three string. I sell a ten of these, like a ten. Fret markers. No frets. Three strings tuned A, E, A. This has a transducer pickup in it, one volume control, as you can see right there, sound hole, as you can see right there. And of course, tuners on the end with the Blues Boy Jag logo, numbered, always number them. That's the number on the back there, and I sign them right there. This little doohickey right here allows you to raise or lower the strings just a little bit. Loosen it, strings go up, tighten it, strings come down. I have this set up right now to where you can actually play finger style without a slide on the neck. So you just slide strings. Which I do a lot when I'm playing the fretless. I do like the walking bass line. So as you can tell, I've got the fret markers on three, five, seven, uh, 10, 12, 15, and 17, is that right? Yeah. And uh, I've got the fret markers on top too, so you know where you're at. And of course, strap holder. Strap holder. I put extra weight inside the box so it's balanced when you're on stage with a strap balanced about like this instead of like that, which makes it a lot easier to play. Also, increases your sustain tremendously. Okay, so here is a slide. I've got this coming through a, an old. Uh, 48, 1948 amp, so there's no tone control on my amp, so it's a little bit brighter. Now these strings are high enough, of course, to where you can play slides without dragging on the neck. But, also, as I showed you before, if you wanted to actually finger those notes and slide on the neck, you can do that as well. hooked up to a uh, quarter inch, regular quarter inch jack, like I said, one volume control. That right there is your bridge, it's one bolt. If you want to raise the strings, you can put a bigger bolt in there, a taller bolt, and I got the little screws in there that keep it perfectly intonated, so that's a floating bridge. They've been around since, ooh, 1600, 1700s. And basically the strings keep it in position and those two, two screws right there, right in front, keep it in position as well. So, it's perfectly intonated all the way up the neck. Put about 10 to 15 coats of polyurethane, depending on the box. Sometimes the box requires more because it soaks in. And this was one of those. I think I put about 12 to 15 coats on here. Shiny. That'll protect it, keep it from getting all scratched up. There you go, folks. Three string. Little mojo. Fretness. this is a socket to a socket wrench set. I think it's 11 sixteenths. What does it say here? Or does it even say? Well, that just does a lot of good. There it is, five eighths. So this one, uh, I picked this up at the uh, at Lowe's. It's a five eighths. Use my third finger. You may use your pinky. Mileage may vary. It's up to you. No rules. Pinky for me is a little weird because I started third finger back in 1980 or whatever. So this one is a little bit longer than I prefer, which makes it a little top heavy. Makes it a little bit unwieldy. Kind of kind of does its own thing. So I kind of prefer. A uh, well, shorter slide it makes it a little easier to play. So it's a little heavy, just kind of flops around a lot. So I'm kind of like you know hitting strings I don't want to hit. Anyway, that's beside the point. This is a Blues Boy Jag Little Mojo fretless 
I started out making the fretless cigar box guitars and made them for years before I ever put the frets on. Five, six years. And sold a ton. I mean, like tons, like tons, like a couple thousand. And they were just, just like the coolest flying off the shelves. And then I put the frets in. And I kind of got away from doing the, the fretless. And I started getting requests for the fretless. And now I'm selling tons of fretless again. So, uh, there you go, folks. Blues Boy Jack. Little Mojo. Transducer. Fretless. Cigar Box Guitar. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your kind support. Toodles.